Well, it's summertime. Well, wouldn't you know that the rains are going to start pretty soon from our favorite genderists, our favorite, well, tax patriarchal warlords or overseers. They're going to say, there's far too much skin showing on these young ladies. And they need to cover up. You know, the usual bullshit. And how can I tell you that that's going to happen? Well, when you know, I always come prepared. I come with my cannon loaded, ready to fire at all periods of time. You know, you got to protect the fort. And you know, here's my shots fired. How do I know that they're going to say that? Well, look to Dubai. Look to Dubai and see what they did. Well, when you know a Ukrainian journalist and photographer, well, he enjoys, well, taking pictures of half-naked women. And, you know, that's what he enjoys. So be it. No crime in that. Especially if it's essential. And the women, well, it didn't look like they were chained up. They enjoy the money. You know, who wouldn't enjoy taking a picture in a bikini? And with a lot of girls around. Not feeling insecure about yourself. It's a, it's a dream job. Well, the only bad part about it is you have to look a certain way. And you have to be a certain shape. But 10 out of 10 girls want to do it. And well, when you know, I can tell you, that's the facts. And well, Dubai, well, they had a little upheaval, a little tipsy. They, well, did they burn themselves with the tea? Perhaps a little bit. Because, well, it's come to my attention that they arrested the photographer of a recent picture of, well, bunch of scantily clad women on a balcony in Dubai. And, well, the Ukrainian photographer, he was arrested. And the office where the photo was taken, it was raided by the Dubai military and the police force. You know, it's summer. And girls and women, well, they're going to want to show some skin. You know, just like men are allowed to have their tops off. Well, women, well, they're not on this planet, you know, it's too jarring, too triggering. You know, this is what Dubai had time to do. Arrest the photojournalist who took a picture of women who enjoyed being in there. Took a picture in Dubai, you get arrested. You know, there must not be anything happening in Dubai. There must not be anything happening for journalists to write about summertime and how, well, women are revealing too much cleavage and they're showing their ass crap. You know, they're saying there's too much ass crap showing this summer and you need to, well, not show your ass crap. You know, this is what journalists have time to write about. This is what they have time to report about. There's nothing else of consequence happening. And you know, that's how you can tell you live in a patriarchal system. Because, well, men that show their ass crack, well, they never make the headlines. Nobody ever talks about men showing their ass crack and how, well, it's inappropriate. It's vulgar. It's degenerate. It's lowering the standard of morality. You know, for all of these people that don't like women taking off their clothes and being scantily clad, it's always those people that, well, you dress too modest, too. And so, friends, we get the good old friends. You know, the place that gave us French fries and the Statue of Liberty. And, well, colonialism 2.0 and 3.0. But I digress, because that's France. And there's a place in France called Nice. And I have to try to be nice about France. Well, anyway, France is in void in, well, one of the biggest sex scandals in its history. Well, when you know they're trying to cover that up by, well, misogyny. And, you know, they picked an easy target of extreme minority in their country. 
the labels and try to deflect their misogyny. They think Muslim women and girls. Now you can't wear a hijab anymore. You can't practice your culture and your traditions. You can't, well, you can't even be modest in France. No, you need to be, well, you need to be a sex traffic victim. You need to, well, you need to be abused as a child. That's really what France is trying to tell everybody. But they don't want to say it out in the open, but they'll say it in the closet. You know, this is patriarchy. And this is really a bad thing. And it's one of the last ills of the 21st century. And we should all be working towards, well, ending it. And you know, a good part of that, a good chunk of that work, it should be done. And it should be done in earnest. So shame on France. And shame on the American reporters for reporting about ass crack. I'll have you know, ass crack never killed anybody. Well, ass crack never killed anybody.